Hello and welcome back to the Gourmet Grandad and Family channel. So today I'm going to make Turkish kufta or Turkish meatballs and for that we're going to need some breadcrumbs. I'm using lamb mince but you can use beef mince, garlic, onion, an egg to bind, some cumin, salt, pepper and fresh parsley and a spice called pulbiba which is red pepper flakes. So this is the um, what's needed to make the meatballs and then they're going to be cooked in the oven or on top of the oven, I'm not sure yet um, how I'm going to do it, but they'll be cooked with uh, some mixed Mediterranean vegetables, so I'll cover the ingredients for that next. So here's the onion peeled and cut into half and the recipe says to grate the onion. Now my thought is that's going to make my eyes water. So I have another plan. I have this um, Qu Cuisinart food processor and I've added in the grating ring. And hopefully that will do the job for me without my eyes watering, so let's see. We'll do it on low. Well, this is doing the job nicely. Excellent. Then put your minced onion in a bowl. Chop a small bunch of fresh parsley. Then for the mixture you need two slices of bread which is bread crumbed, one egg, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of Turkish pepper flakes which is known as pul biba, a teaspoon of salt and some black pepper and some crushed garlic, two cloves. To your bowl with the onions in, break up your mince as I say, you can use lamb mince or beef mince or a mixture and add your egg. Then in goes all the spices and herbs that we prepared earlier. The traditional way to mix this, there's only one way and that's with your hands, washed of course. Just mix and mix and mix. So mix until you have a combined consistency looking something like this. And here, this is also a traditional way to um, bash the meat mixture down into the bowl a few times. I don't know what it does, but this is what I was told you needed to do. So here we have it, meatball mixtures ready. Cover the mixture with cling film and put in the fridge for at least two to three hours. So here's what's needed for the sauce that goes with the uh, meatballs. So we have a red and a yellow pepper, some more pulled biba and garlic cloves, an aubergine, a tin of chopped tomatoes, some tomato puree, some new or waxy type potatoes so that they don't disintegrate, and salt and pepper. Finally chop your garlic and cut your peppers into large chunks. Cut your aubergine in half lengthways and then slice approximately one centimetre thick. Peel and then chop your potatoes into large pieces like this. We then need a tablespoon of tomato puree, your chopped tomatoes and 8 fluid ounces of water. Into a large casserole dish, add your peppers, garlic, your potatoes, your aubergine, 
your tomato paste and pool beaver. A drizzle of olive oil. Some black pepper. Your tin of chopped tomatoes. And your water. And a sprinkling of salt. That's the black pepper. Wrong way round. And again, mix all this nicely together. It's all covered in the tomatoes and the spices. You can, of course, use uh, a spoon if you prefer. Once your meat mixture has had the two to three hours at least resting in the fridge, it's then time to make them into small um, patty shapes, as you can see me doing here. And just keep breaking a piece off and moulding them into this shape and putting them to one side. Until they're all prepared. Then we place the meatballs on top of the vegetable mixture that we prepared earlier, as you can see me doing here, until you've used them all up. Then on we go with the lid and we place in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark 4. And after an hour and a quarter of cooking, here we have it, the finished product. Turkish meatballs with vegetables. And here we have it served up and it's served with Turkish rice, which is a different way of cooking rice to the traditional way that I know um, and a recipe for that will be coming soon so if you've enjoyed this please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon